But going back to an earlier question in the interview, firstly, Chris, I want you to answer, and then straight away to Kev. Would you consider their season success if they don't get the top four? Because uh, I understand trophies are what football is all about, and yes, they have the FA Cup. That's in their cabinet. No one's going to take that away. But to lose that on Champions League football in consecutive seasons after being in the top four the entire campaign, to just miss it on the final day would be, not to say a travesty, but it would be heartbreaking. It'd be heartbreaking, but all the same, Leicester's season has been absolutely outstanding, even if they miss out, Adam. Their objectives at the start of the season would be to push for a Champions League spot, and if they could win a trophy, and, and they have won a trophy, they've won an FA Cup, that is absolutely massive for Leicester City. I think they lost the previous four finals, Leicester City, back in the day. They've won an FA Cup. Brendan is interested in that interview, talking about the eighth biggest budget. Leicester City are overachievers. And, you know, I think it may... I don't know whether that was maybe a little dig at Chelsea there, the Mason Mount comment about, you know, him coming up through the academy. That's the way they have to do it at Leicester City. Leicester City have sold big players in the past, Mares, Maguire, Chilwell, and they have to do it a different way. Brendan's uh, recruitment has been absolutely excellent. You know, they've missed James Justin, six million quid from, from Luton for large parts of the season. I've mentioned Castagna, albeit he switched off tonight from the corner. Leicester are doing it a different way. And I think it, 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 you, meant, you said you used the word heartbreaking. It will be heartbreaking for Leicester. But over the whole piece, they are a club in a really, really good place. And it has been a brilliant season. Yeah, uh, on top of that, Brendan Rodgers was uh, initially in charge of the youth setup at Chelsea uh, about the same time that Mason Mount would have arrived there. So there's probably some sort of history between the two. Uh, what, what is your take on this, Kev? Because there's also a knock-on effect with Brendan Rodgers' future linked to other clubs, notably Tottenham, who will not have Champions League football. But his stock has gone up, winning the trophy. And some of their players... and. Leicester have a history of selling off some of their big players for huge money. Chilwell to Chelsea. Then they buy someone in for half the price. Their business has been brilliant. But without the Champions League football, it could happen again. Very, very well-run club, Leicester. And let me just tell you this. Brendan Rodgers is going nowhere. Brendan Rodgers, obviously winning the FA Cup. Whatever happens at the end of the season in the last game... If they miss out, Chris is right. They are punching well above their weight. You know, they balance books. They sign players who maybe other teams don't fancy, and they make them work. Fofana at the back has been a revelation. Soyonchu has been a revelation. You know, they've rebuilt. And Golo Kante, who's one of the best midfielders in the world, made his name at Leicester. Let's be honest. And they sold him. They do this. That's what Leicester do. So I just think Brendan Rodgers has got hold of a football club there and Leicester are going places. Obviously, if they can add a few bits of quality, maybe they can get over that line. But when you look at the budgets of some of the other teams uh, in and around, Leicester are doing a lot better than some of those so-called big boys. Leicester yeah. have been sensational. And if it works out for them, great. And if it doesn't, do you know what? They've got a pot on the side, they've got their silverware, and they're, they're in Europe. They're guaranteed European football. Brilliant. Uh, Adam, did you say that Brendan Rodgers, you, you think there's a possibility of him going to Tottenham? No, I'm not saying it, did, but did his you name... Hear that? No, but there was a... I heard that. I heard something about him there. Why is Brendan Rodgers going to go to, to a smaller club at this moment in time? Why is Brendan Rodgers going to go to Tottenham when the star man... Wants out. It, it's got a good team at Leicester City. Why yeah. would Brendan Rodgers want to go to Tottenham or even Arsenal at this stage? The, the North London clubs aren't doing very well. His team is streaks ahead of them. He's building something there. They've just won an FA Cup. Come on. It's not going to happen. Two things. I was literally about to ask that. Whose future is brighter, Leicester or the North London clubs? Do Leicester belong in the, in the big six now as opposed to one of the North London clubs? And secondly... To add a rebuttal to what you mentioned there, Chris, I did say, after his name has been linked to the Tottenham job, Spurs don't have Champions League football next season. I said that for a reason. 
So if, if Leicester <laughs> do get it on the final day of the season, then he definitely probably wouldn't want to go anywhere because, well, it's Champions League.